Well, hello again. Um, today I had a bit of a problem with the electric bike. The highest gear on the back sprocket is slipping. Um, I've had this problem before, and it's the um, the smallest cog on the sprocket just slips off the ends. The 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 little nut thing that holds it on just works loose. Um, I did thread lock it on before, and it lasted for quite some time, but uh, it's fallen off again now. So. Uh, Let's see if we can fix that so I can use it again tomorrow. Now whenever you're working on your electric bike it's probably a good idea to have the battery disconnected because uh, you don't want the motor to start up when you're working on it and uh, break your arm like a furious swan with its wing. There. Well I've got this board I usually put down when I'm working on the bike just to protect it from the concrete so let's put that down and get the uh, back wheel out and have a look at it. Well, I think you can see what's happened. This uh, this has come completely off. Um, I haven't touched that at all. And uh, yeah, this is just slipping around. This one's engaging all right. But uh, this one's just come right loose. And you can see there's not great deal for it to engage on. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this should be but uh, it's certainly not working very well as it is. Anyway, I'm going to clean it all up and then we'll have another go at thread locking it back on again for the moment. Now take a look at this. I think this shouldn't be like this. I think all this is damage um, to the top where it's that top cog has become loose and slipped around. So I think that's at least part of the problem. That's I mean, There's not enough there for it to grip onto anymore. So I suspect we probably need a new freewheel really. Um, and that's probably what we're going to have to do long term. But to get me going tomorrow I'm going to thread lock this back on again. A good plan, Mr. Ginge, do you reckon? So here we go. I've got some uh, thread locker here. Um, it says up to 20 mil diameter. Well, obviously this is more than 20 mil diameter, but I've used it before and it's successful for uh, quite some months. So um, as long as I commit to getting that new freewheel, I think this should uh, see me through. Um, and I've also got this little tool for putting the sprocket nut, if that's the right word, back on again. Now I didn't have one of these when uh, I had the previous problem and Phil at work gave me this so uh, thank you Phil, uh, coming in useful yet again. Right so let's go for it. Um...
got the bike all back together again and uh, all seems well but uh, if you know anything about free wheels drop me a comment and let me know if uh, that seems right or if I definitely do need a new one well that's all for now if you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new Thank you.